I've got my lemon yarn and my four millimetre hook and I'm going to start with a slip knot. Pop the slip knot on your hook and chain three. And then slip stitch to form a loop. So I'm going to put my hook under both loops of that first chain. So I've got two loops on the top, one loop underneath, and I'm just going to pull my yarn through all of those loops and that just gives you a nice flat loop to work into. And we're just going to be working into this little hole in the centre of the loop. If you think um, you might find it hard to find that little centre when you're making your stitches, you can just pop a, a stitch marker into that to help you find it. And then I'm going to chain two. And in the pattern it says this counts as our first treble. And I'm now going to make 11 more treble crochet into that ring. And I'm going to work over my tail. And I'll show you that why that's important when we get to the end of the center. So to treble crochet, I'm going to yarn over, keep hold of my tail and then I'm going to pop my hook into that center ring and pull up a loop of yarn and then yarn over and pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through two loops and that's a treble crochet. So I'll show you that again. So yarn over, pop the hook into that central ring pull up a loop of yarn and then yarn over and pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through two loops. So I've done two trebles. This counts as one as well so that's three. So I need to do nine more treble crochet to make the 12 we need for our centre. And I'm working over that tail with every stitch. And that's my last stitch. So I'm going to fasten off now and I'm going to ignore those first two chains. So these are the first two chains we made. I'm going to ignore those and I'm going to put my hook under both loops of the first treble crochet we made. And I'm just going to yarn over and make a slip stitch. So pull the yarn through Yep. and then pull the yarn through this loop and as I pull I'm going to pull towards the back and nice and tightly and this gives a nice neat finish and the reason I did my slip stitch into the first treble and ignored the two chains is because if you slip stitch into the chains you get a little phantom stitch and when you work into the next round, it can be a little bit confusing to see whether you're working into a real stitch or a stitch made by the join. So by doing it this way, I have 12 definite stitches around the edge. It just makes it easier to see what you're doing when you work the next round and it just gives you a nice neat finish. And finally, we worked over the tail because you can use this as a little drawstring. And if you just give this a pull, it closes up the hole in the centre of that ring. So you don't get a gapy centre, you get a nice, neat, tight central ring. And then you can sew in this tail and your centre is ready to go. For round two, I have peach yarn. And I'm going to join the yarn by pulling up a loop in any one of the treble stitches that we just made. And I'm working under the two loops, but it's into the top of the stitch. 
so right into the top of the stitch it's not between the bars of the stitch so not into this space here it's into the top of the stitch right under the two loops so I'm going to pull up a loop and then chain two making sure I'm chaining the yarn from the ball and not the tail so chain two and this counts as our first treble crochet and I'm then going to make another one into the same stitch so that counts as two treble crochet and I'm now going to make two treble crochet into each stitch around so I have 24 stitches in total So that's 23 and 24 stitches and I'm just going to fasten off in the same way as we did before so hook under both loops of the first treble slip stitch snip pull through pulling towards the back and I'm just going to sew in these tails before we move on to round three. I've got my lovely bright candy pink for round three and I'm going to start off in the same way as I did before so hook under both loops of any treble, pull up a loop, chain two and this counts as our first treble crochet and then another stitch in the same stitch, so another treble and then I'm going to make two treble crochet in each stitch all the way around so I have 48 stitches in total this time And fasten off in the same way again so hook under both loops of the first treble and that's round three of my bloom complete for round four I've got my baby pink yarn and it starts in the same way as the other round so I'm going to pull up a loop in any of the treble stitches and chain two and you've guessed it this counts as our first treble crochet and I'm now going to make seven more treble crochet into the same stitch and this is what forms our petals so this is eight treble crochet stitches in the same stitch to make a petal so our two chain counts as one so I'm going to make seven more treble crochet into the same stitch one two three four five six seven eight and then I'm going to skip two stitches and I'm going to slip stitch into the next one so I'm going to skip one and two so I'm going to skip those two and then into the third one I'm going to pop my hook and a slip stitch you pull up a loop and then you pull it through the loop that's on your hook and that's how you make a slip stitch and that's pulling that petal down and joining it to the ring of stitches so now I'm going to skip two more stitches so I'm going to skip one two stitches and I'm going to make eight treble crochet into the next stitch so skip one skip two and then into the third stitch so into this stitch 
I'm going to make eight treble crochet. So yarn over and start making your stitches. So that's one, two, seven, eight. And then I'm going to skip two more stitches and slip stitch again. So one, two, and then slip stitch. And I'm just going to repeat this all the way around the ring till I've got eight petals. And then after I've completed the eighth petal, I will show you how to move on to round five. Eight. Now I'm going to skip two stitches and slip stitch. So one, two, and then into the third stitch. I'm going to slip stitch. And I'm going to move straight onto the next round. So what's that round five? One, two, three, four. Yeah, onto round five. And to do that, I'm going to pop my hook under both loops of the first treble. So I'm ignoring the two chains slip my hook under there. I'm going to pull up a loop and make a double crochet into that stitch. I'll show you that again. So I'm putting my hook under both loops of that first treble, ignoring the two chains. I'm going to pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through and that is my first double crochet. And I'm now going to make six more double crochet into these trebles here. So this is one, so another six, to make seven in total. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the pattern says to slip stitch each side of the slip stitch in the round below. So this is the slip stitch in the previous round and I'm going to slip stitch each side of it. So I'm going to pop my hook into this space, pull up a loop of yarn and it's a slip stitch. So there's no yarn over this time. I'm just going to pull it through the loop on my hook. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I'm going to pop my hook into the space, pull up a loop of yarn and pull it through the loop on the hook. So now I have a slip stitch on each side of this slip stitch in the round below. And now I'm going to make seven double crochet around the petal. So that's one, two, six, seven. And then slip stitch again each side of this slip stitch in the round below. Pull up a loop and pull through and pull up a loop and pull through and I'm just going to repeat this all the way around so seven double crochet stitches followed by two slip stitches and when I get all the way back to the beginning I'll show you how to finish off your round of petals So I'm just coming up to the end of my last petal. So slip stitch, slip stitch, and I'm just going to finish off by slip stitching under that first double crochet. So the first double crochet that we made at the start of the round, I'm just going to pop my hook under there 
and finish off in that stitch. I've had a cup of tea and a Kit Kat and now I'm going to show you how to turn your big bloom into a big bloom square. Now I'm going to use um, this slightly lighter blue just because I think it will be easier for you to see the stitches on video but you will be doing this um, in the darker blue or white or whatever colour you've chosen for your background. So here's my bloom with all of the tails sewn in and I've got my background colour yarn. I'm still using the four millimetre hook and I'm going to start by pulling up a loop in the same way as we did before. In the first double crochet on any of the petals. So to the left of the slip stitches, it's this first double crochet. And I'm just going to pop my hook in pull up a loop and chain two and as always this counts as our first treble and now if you look at the pattern it looks incredibly complicated lots of different stitches but really all we're doing is filling in the space between these two petals with different size stitches so we end up with a square corner. So the first stitch is a treble and these two chains count as that treble. And then the second stitch is a half treble. And to make a half treble, you yarn over, put your hook in and pull up a loop. And then yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook at the same time. And now the pattern says work two double crochet. So into the next two stitches, I put double crochets. I'm gonna stop working over that tail now and sew that in later. So the next stitch is a half treble. So yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all loops on the hook and then the next stitch is a treble so yarn over pull through two loops pull through two loops and you'll see the stitches are getting shorter and longer as we go over this curve so we're getting a nice straight edge and then we have two new stitches to learn so the first stitch is a double treble um, and this is just a longer version of a treble stitch and we make this by wrapping the yarn around the hook twice before starting the stitch. So yarn over and yarn over and then insert your hook into the next stitch in the normal way, pull up a loop and then we're going to yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through the last two loops on the hook. So you can see we've got a longer stitch and we need two of these in the same stitch. So I'm going to do another one. So yarn over the hook twice, insert the hook and I'm going into the same stitch because the pattern says two in the same stitch. So pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. So now we have our two double treble crochet stitches in the same stitch. And the second new stitch is a triple treble. So to do this you wrap your yarn around the hook three times. One, two, three insert into the next stitch 
and pull up a loop and then yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through the last two hoop loops on the hook and we have an even longer stitch and we need two of these in the same stitch so I'm going to do that again so one two three and when you're wrapping your yarn around the hook for these stitches make sure you don't pull it too tight otherwise it's going to be really difficult for you to pull it through the loops on the hook so I've got my yarn wrapped around three times so I'm going to insert my hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops and yarn over pull through the last two loops and now the pattern says chain two and now we're going to repeat this in reverse to make to complete this corner and fill in this edge so the pattern says skip the next stitch so we're going to skip this stitch in the middle here and we're going to start work into the next stitch so into the first double crochet so we're going to do these stitches in reverse this time so we're going to start with two triple trebles so that's one two three and another one and then the pattern says two double trebles so in the next stitch two double trebles so that's yarn over twice this time one two three and again in the same stitch one two three and then we're just doing what we did before in reverse so we have a treble and then a half treble and then we have two doubles and then a half treble and then another treble crochet on the end just mirroring what we have on the other side so you can see now that I have filled in this corner and it's beginning to look like a square and don't worry if this is a little bit crumpled at this point the next rounds are going to sort that out so now we're going to repeat this to make four more corners. I'm just going to put my last treble in. And I'm going to finish the round by slip stitching under both loops of that first half treble. So my two chain counted as the first treble so this stitch was a half treble so in the pattern it says slip slip stitch tongue twister slip stitch onto both loops of the first half treble and that means that stitch now at this point it's going to look a little bit curly don't worry about that because the next round is going to sort that out and it will be on its way to looking very square by the end of this round so don't fasten off we're going to go straight into this next round and we're going to chain two this counts as our first treble as always and we're going to make a round of treble crochet all the way around the square so I'm going to put my first treble crochet just in this first stitch here So that's 
one, two, three, eight, nine. And those nine treble crochet take me up to the corner space. So now I'm going to make my corner and that is two treble crochet, two chains and two treble crochet in the same corner space. So that's one, two treble crochet, two chains and two treble crochet to turn that corner. And now I'm going to make one treble crochet in each of these stitches and that's 20 treble crochet in total. The first treble crochet goes into here. So don't miss this under your trebles in the corner. It's this first little loop here. This one likes to hide sometimes. So our first treble goes in there. And then I'm going to treble crochet all the way along my 20 treble crochet. And then at the corner, I'm going to do the same thing that I did here. And I'm going to repeat that on the other sides. My square's looking a lot squarer now. I've been along this edge this edge and this edge. So each side has two treble crochets in the corner, 20 treble crochets along the side and then another two treble crochets in the corner space. So each side has 24 treble crochets. And I'm just going to make my last corner and finish this side. So we started this side with a chain two, that counts as one treble crochet, nine treble crochets, so that's 10, and then two in the corner, so that's 12. And we need to make it up to 24. So I'm just going to finish this side and make my corner. So chain two, and then we're going to make the two in the corner space. So that's 13 and 14. So to make it up to 24, we have to make 10 more treble crochet in this space. So that's one, Two, eight, nine, and ten. And then I'm going to fasten off by putting my hook under both loops of the first treble. So we're still ignoring that two chain onto both loops of that first treble and slip stitch to join. And I'm going to go straight into round eight and this is a round of double crochet. I'm going to chain one and when you double crochet the chain one to start never counts as a stitch. That's just to give you height to start the stitch. And I'm going to put my first double crochet right in the bottom in this first stitch here. And then I'm going to keep going till I reach the corner. So that's one two, nine, 10, 11. And the pattern says 11 double crochet until you reach the corner. And then in the corner space, I'm going to do two double crochet, two chains and two double crochet to form the corner. Oh, getting in a tangle. One, two. And then I'm going to 
double crochet in each stitch along this edge. So we have 24 stitches along this edge. So don't miss the first one because it likes to hide. And one stitch in each along. 22, 23, 24. And then we're going to make another corner. So two double crochet, two chains, two double crochet, and then another 24 stitches, a corner, 24 stitches, a corner. And then when we get back round to here, I'll show you how to finish off this edge. Just coming up to the end of a side and this time each side has 28 stitches so it has two in the corner 24 along the side and then two in the corner making 28 so I'm just turning the corner so that's a two chain and now we've got to fill in this side so we did 11 stitches and two in the corner so that's 13 so our corner, that's 14 and 15, 16, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, so that's the two corner stitches and 13 stitches and then I'm going to finish the round by slip stitching under both loops of the first double crochet. And this is the last round of the square so you can fasten off. And you'll see that this round has done a really good job of squaring it up but I will show you um, how to neaten it up even more by using a little bit of steam before we join them together.